we've got some really interesting news about a guest we had on uh, earlier this week who had revealed some nasty things being said by government officials about the platform and got some documents to show that she was being kind of personally hunted by health officials for not having committed a crime and that they were trying to help uh, take down her new Facebook page called Operation People. And Chantelle Baker joins us now. It appears um, the government has been successful in deplatforming you again, Chantelle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I call myself notoriously unlucky, but yeah, they have. We just, um, we didn't even get notified. There was no warning. We hadn't broken any guidelines on Operation People that we're aware of outside of them flagging the Kate Hanna video we did. And yeah, it just disappeared yesterday, completely deleted, wasn't unpublished, just everything was wiped. Wow. So do you <laughs> have, and of course you have documents showing that government people were conspiring or trying to conspire with Facebook to do exactly that. You still yep. haven't been yep. found guilty of any crime, no one sued you for defamation, Chantel? No, nothing. Uh, I still don't even know anything that we've said on Operation People that breaks any community guidelines either. So it seems it's blatant targeting. Uh, we've got a whole lot of OAAs in to try and find out yeah. what they said about this page over the last two days. But pretty amazing that you can go out there and expose the government colluding with private business and then instantly be completely deplatformed. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I thought the research you'd done and, and, and the responses you got to the RIAs were a legitimate story of quite deep public concern, given the way that you were and Operation People were personally targeted. And as I said, I felt a slight insult at being branded a, a disinformation network personally and, and the platform. But to think that in a few days this has happened to you, and I don't, as you know, I don't, probably didn't agree with a lot of what was on Operation People... But you got a right. You got a right to say uh, what you think and to exercise your freedom of speech. I'm wondering, Chantel, doesn't this reach a stage where you go to Facebook? And yeah, absolutely. But that's a hell of a thing because they've set up a system where they hide behind, you know, emails and and call centres. It's so friggin' millennial, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and do, I try and tell my. Have a small one. Yeah, they do have but a team here. Yeah, they've got a team in Brito Mart. So they've got a small team in Brito Mart. Yeah. Uh, and they do have a legal law firm that represents them here in New Zealand as well. So there is a way for us to try and do something. And yeah. we're just looking into whether that is a suit against them and the government or yeah. what our options are. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, Chantel, uh, that this has happened to you. And I think you are the example, uh, in some instances, of having to defend stuff you disagree with, in my instance. But... Um, you're not a person with malice, um, though I imagine we'd be on different sides, for example, of the baby will debate, wouldn't we? Uh, I don't want to go into... I mean, I haven't publicly commented on the baby will situation. I know you have. Mm. Um, but, I mean, I've got a scientist in our team, and so I want to sit down with him and talk about um, live blood work, which he used to do, and we're just looking into more of the science around it. So I don't actually have a comment on the yeah. baby will. Well, that's very mature of you, Chantel. Look, I'm sorry this has happened to you. Could you please keep us up to date as to where things are at and as if you're ever given... Um, you know, see, I think you could sue the government for clearly conspiring to do this and damaging you. Well, um, you would hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean my, my, my faith in our justice system has been a little rocked, I suppose, this year, because you would have thought that the mandates would breach our Bill of Rights Act. But there's a few things that, have, that they've seemed to get away with. So, well, hopefully, we'll see what we can do. We've got a number of lawyers that we're in talks with at the moment. So we're going back to all of the team today to just get opinions. And obviously, we won't put out any funding for a lawsuit unless we think we've got a really good opportunity of winning it. Yeah. So we're just making sure that we've actually got something really solid before we even yeah. mention trying to get people to help. Good luck, Chantel. Thank you for joining us at such short notice, too. I know it was a cold call. Good on you. No worries. Thank you so much, Sean. Have a great day. You Bye. too. Cheers. And what a place to end, what a wild week. Chantel Baker and her new Facebook page, Operation People, taken down without notice. And the buggers don't give her a chance to correct or take something down. It's just bang, you're gone. And what do you expect when government agencies of state have been persecuting here?